Hey guys, guess what? Um, well, um, I ran into a little bit of trouble and um, I am struggling from that trouble a little bit. Not really, not really struggling that much, honestly. Not, not anymore, not really struggling now. But um, yeah, I had a really crazy thing happen to me uh, earlier, a couple hours ago. And I feel much better about it now, but let me tell you guys, um, it was hard. <laughs> it was hard, for sure. I struggled. So, um, I was in Severna Park, I would gotten over the Bay Bridge, and I, I, I was a little worried about my car, because, um, I just heard it sounding not very good, and I knew it needed oil, and I knew I needed an oil change, but couldn't afford one. So I got some oil for it, overpriced with my uh, gas station credit card, and put it in there, and it sounds a lot better. But then I looked at the tires, and my front tires were worn pretty bad, and I know that you want to put your best tires in the front if you're a front-wheel drive car, um, because of the way it wears. So I looked up on the road, as I was driving, I looked up on, on YouTube how to replace your tires or rotate your tires, you know, and I found out how, and I was thinking, you know, I've got the tools, I can just go ahead and rotate this, it will take a little bit of time, but I felt such strength behind me, like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do this, it's going to be just fine, and so I went into, um, I got into Severna Park, which is about an hour's drive from home. And on the other side of the Chesapeake Bay, which is quite a while, and over a big bridge, for those of you don't know. And I parked in the parking lot that I planned on it. I think I took an order since I got there first. I think I did an order first and then parked. I can't remember. Something like that. But I, I parked in there. Yeah, I did, did a couple orders. And then I parked. And um, I sat there and I was thinking, you know, like, I don't know if I really should go ahead and do this right now, I kind of don't want to, um, you know, I kind of don't feel like it, I guess, but I had a hard time identifying those feelings, I just kind of felt them a little bit, you know, and I was thinking, I was thinking about how, what people would think about me, and see me in a parking lot, like, I was at the back of the parking lot, and there not a lot of people around, really, but there was people, a moderate amount, you know, leaving the parking lot and stuff, thinking about, you know, sitting in there and, um, you know, just taking my tire off with my jack and taking both tires off and switching them, and, you know, and so I sat for a minute and I decided to do it, and I went ahead and start doing it, and my jack wouldn't lift both tires off at the same time, so I had to readjust it, and I felt a little, I felt a little, a little, um, I guess nervous or anxious as I was doing this, but I kind of made the decision that I was going to do it anyway, and it was going to be fine, and so I just decided to keep on going, and you know, so I just, I just decided to keep on going, and um, readjusted the jack so that um, it would lift up both tires at the same time, hopefully. And started to do that, and it was getting to the point where it was like that, and so I started loosening the lug nuts. And but I had to let I had to let down some because the lug nuts, if you jack it up, you can't. You have to you have to loosen them first before you jack it up. Because if you jack it up on a flimsy jack like I have, and then you're trying to unloosen them, you might knock it off the jack, and that's a whole big, big problem. So um, I was struggling to loosen these lug nuts, and I had them mostly unloosened. But I had two that were giving me a problem. And I had this little tire wrench, you know, and I'm pushing on it, pushing on it, and like just struggling. And I did get up a couple times before to, to do the other two tires, or the other two bolts, and I put my foot on the wrench and pushed it down, and it would budge, and it would get loosened. So I started trying to do that to this one, and at this point I felt like people were watching me. I felt the attention, I felt a little uncomfortable. But I just decided to tune it all out and just decided to say, you know what, I am not worried about anything, I'm not worried about anyone, what anyone thinks or anything like that, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. 
So I push down on the wrench and it pops. And my foot lands on the ground with my two, my, when I destroyed my two toes that day, bumped both of those on the ground and one starts bleeding a little bit. It hurt. Not as bad as that day, but it hurt. Um, I sit and look at what just happened because I thought the thing just popped off, but I had a, I felt that something different had happened and it wasn't good. And I looked and there was my lug nut bolt popped off, but inside of it was the rest of the bolt. I broke the bolt off. The bolts that keep your tire on your car. My my car only has four on each side and one of the three one of the four broke off. I was so beside myself, sitting there, stressed out, so Oh my gosh, just disbelief. So I had to just put it back together, take it off the jack and be done with it. Kind of de-escalate from what had happened. And you can't fix a broken thing. You can't unbreak something that just broke. So putting everything on and, you know, feeling it. I'm trying to catch my breath. I'm trying to calm down. I'm trying to, I'm trying to calm down, you know. And I just pray and I'm struggling. And I do feel some relief. And then I go and I get in my car to sit there. And when I went to sit in my car, I could see myself and I could feel myself just sitting there and crying. And, but you know, I sat in that car, I didn't sit in the car in order to cry. I sat in the car to cool down and calm down and just try to take a load off my mind. And I did. reached out to my uncle, who's a mechanic, and couldn't get in, and looked up some YouTube videos, and turned out it wasn't so bad after all, it turned out to be not as bad as what I thought it was, and something people deal with, and, you know, and so I was just kind of struggling here, you know, still coming to grips with this, because not having the money to get it fixed, needing my car to make money for my job, delivering DoorDash, and being on the other side of the Bay Bridge, feeling very uncertain. I came over there to DoorDash, and now what's going to happen? I can't DoorDash now. What's going to happen? You know, and I don't have the money to fix this, and I was coming to make money to pay my bills. Now I have to fix this. And I looked it up, and it wasn't that bad, the price of the bolts, well, from what I hear and everything. And I watched the guy, the YouTube video of the guy, and he was funny. And he just proved to me that it's not the end of the world. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I called my pop-up because he knows a little bit about cars and stuff and, and pop-up, pop-up's there, pop-up's there. You can call him, talk to him, you know. And he's my uncle, he's, he's the mechanic, he's his father. And so I called him and just told him about my pickle I was in, told him I was okay, told him about what was going on and everything. And, um, you know, and he just listened to me and he said, oh, he said, well, losing one of those things is like losing one of your fingers. <laughs> and I was sitting here going, oh man, yeah. <laughs> and I just had this feeling like, well, I'm gonna have to drive on it. I'm gonna have to drive on it. It's gonna have to be okay. I'm just gonna have to be fine. It's just Okay. And then it became a question of, well, how, how long is this going to last, you know, and uh, how safe is it to drive on? Okay, I looked it up in Google Book Search. It's not safe to drive on, is the result, is the um, um, collective opinion, which I agree is true. Right, it's true. But anyway, my pop-up convinced me that the bolt is only going to cost a few dollars, and I, so I'm anticipating 10 but, you know, um, and still not having a lot of money, like hardly any. And I did take a few orders. I did DoorDash after the fact. Tested it out, and it was driven fine. And I was reassured that it would be okay. Although, it would be good to DoorDash the whole night on it, you know? Um, and so, I, I did get a hold of my Uncle Jamie, but he was too busy. And um, I asked him about helping me tomorrow, and he said he was too busy with other things. 
And so I reached out to my dad, and he talked. He knew what I was talking about, and and he had he knows what to do basically, or he knows he knows how to fix it and stuff like that. And um, so I just started feeling better, you know. And like I said, I started door dashing a little bit, and then um, eventually I got to the point where I was just like, dude. This is not working. I'm just not feeling right over here. I'm just not feeling right. I need to get. I need to get back home. I'm calling it a day, uh, you know. And um, I'm just not going to do this. I'm just not going to stay over here and DoorDash on this car right now the way it is. And so, my better wisdom prevailed and said that this is just not the right, good idea. So, um, I got something to eat, and now I'm on my way home. I'm over the bridge already. I've been driving and it's been riding quite fine. I'm not pushing it. Um, I got up to about 65 back there and it was not quite feeling it. So I was like, nah, I ain't taking any chances. So, and I stay around 55 typically anyway. So, but um, yeah, so you know, of all the YouTube videos to make now, something has happened. And this is a, um, this is a real juicy details of my life. Of, I mean, actual things, you know, that happen. I feel like. A lot of times I make blogs and or vlogs and just don't really I don't know, I don't wanna say they're substanceless because they're not. But yeah, this one's got some real real substance to it I'd say. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a the real life experience of what just happened and everything. But um yeah, so I'm on my way back home and I'm gonna um stop my mom wanted me to go to dinner with her and stuff, and she was like, I can pay for mine, I can pay for yours. She's trying to talk me into going out to dinner, she's so funny. And I'm just like, ah, I, I called her and told her what had happened. I was like, I just want the money for it and stuff like that. And she was like, oh, you know. She's like, well, if I cash up you eight bucks, can you get me this burger I want? I was like, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her a burger. Um, well, I'm gonna stop and get my, um, stop and get the bolt for this and price the nut and stuff like that because I don't know how I'm going to get the broken bolt out of the nut easily and um etc 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 you know um and uh so then I'll try to, I'll see what I can do to get it fixed tomorrow and um yeah so <laughs> We'll see, but so in other words, I'm gonna go door dashing again tomorrow, hopefully. If I can get this thing fixed nicely tomorrow, hopefully. Um, hopefully I'll be fixed and back on the road as usual tomorrow to, to door dash. But um, yeah, pray for your boy. <laughs> pray for your boy over here, out here in the streets <laughs> with his three prong passenger front wheel. <laughs> anyway, when I broke that piece, I was like, oh, no, I was like, no, no, it's the worst one, I was like, I literally felt like I broke an arm on my car, like, if you bust, if you dent your car, if you, like, get a flat tire, you, you know, it's not the end of the world, when you break a bolt off that holds your tire onto your car, it's, it feels a little different, you know, it just is a little bit, little uncertain there, you know, on the whole iffy factor whole uh, what did I just do factor <laughs> so uh, you guys if that ever happens to you it's gonna be fine it's gonna be all right everything is gonna be fine just like with me everything's gonna be fine and everything has been fine but everything will be good just so fine it's fine everything, you know it's everything's gonna be fine but um yeah it's a crazy life you never know what to expect and never take anything for granted. I, I feel like I'm really being compelled to kind of dig in and like focus on my life and focus on the things I need to do and, and really kind of hone in on God's voice. And um, I would listen to some more general conference this afternoon and kind of was reminded of the same thing. People were crazy. Dude's cutting traffic. You know, he doesn't even have a license plate on him. Crazy, but um, yeah, it's just it's just a crazy time. There's a lot of stuff going on, um, but yeah, it, it's read your scriptures, listen to general conference. Um, you know, spend try spend time trying to hear God's voice because it's so 
important. And I don't know what we would do without him because I'm just over here going, man, driving on a prayer, basically. I mean, a little more than that, but you know, you know what I mean. Just, you never know. You never know what the day is going to bring you. You never know. So, I'm learning things. I guess I'm learning things the hard way. Um, but things things just happen, you know. What can you do? Things just happen sometimes. But you live and you learn. And um, one of the things I was thinking about or realizing was like, well, if you didn't spend so much money on fast food and eating out, you'd have a little bit more money to fix your car. Something like this happens. But absolutely true. And so I'm trying to stop eating out as much. I'm trying to save money and focus on having food at home and being able to pack a lunch, bring a lunch, have some food with me and stuff like that. So that's my goal and that's my, um, yeah, that's that's my goal. That's one of my goals for sure. Um, I lifted some weights the other day. Got in a good, got in a good chest workout on my own. Uh, my friend was there and I weighed myself and afterwards and I weighed more than I did before. And I was like, what? And But then I remembered the thing I was telling my friend. I was like, you know what? I do want to lose weight, but it's not, it's not about losing weight. It's more about, um, it's more about building muscle and burning fat. So if I have less fat and more muscle, but I weigh more or weigh the same, I'm happy with that. I just want to burn fat. So. Um, but I've been riding my bike and stuff, and so, you know. Anyway, <laughs> this is my little story for the fun, uh, the experience I just had. And I hope that you th are thankful for your car and thankful for the things that you have in your life that work and that aren't broken and that still work when they are broken, you know. But, yeah, I'm out here. Say a prayer. I'm on my way home, you know. Please, yeah, please pray that I get this fixed tomorrow because I would really like that and I don't really want the stress of things, you know. So, thanks guys. Uh, I love you and take care.